entire neighborhood has been on alert with that giant sinkhole growing. Today, they demolished that home with the hole beneath it, but not before a touching moment outside. Look at this. The man who lost his brother to that sinkhole kneeling silently at the edge of the property, praying just before heavy equipment was brought in. ABC's Gio Benitez is there again tonight. Praying at the mailbox for a final goodbye, a family prepared for this. The sound of heartbreak. Almost 40 years of memories ripped apart. I had my eyes closed. I, I, I couldn't watch it. It was too much. This is the final resting place for 37-year-old Jeff Bush, who died after his bedroom suddenly collapsed into a sinkhole 100 feet deep Thursday night. After four days, we still can't see the sinkhole, but rescuers who did say it was impossible to get him out. I'm so sorry that he couldn't, they can't get him out of the hole. That's the last place he's going to be. The crane stood far back just in case the ground gave way, its arm carefully grabbing the family's American flag, a teddy bear, and those precious family photos. Then there's the family Bible. It means that God's still in control and he knew we needed this for closure. Crews will now finish this demolition tomorrow morning. What happens next, we just don't know. Meanwhile, two other families were forced to leave their homes because now those neighboring houses are also in danger of a collapse.